You see? No matter which way you go, I block you. What, you think we just let anybody into Canada? No, nope. you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. You're not from around here, are you? Best stay here in town. Those direwolves can rip your anus apart in mere seconds. <laughs> Woo! Who the fuck just walks into someone's house? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? I can heal you for five Canadian dollars. Come back whenever you need healing or another HIV test. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh-ho, American money. The current exchange rate is... Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? I can heal you for five Canadian dollars. Your health is fully restored and your HIV test is negative. Ottawa is the capital of all Canada. Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour, or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. Sorry, guy, I'm on duty. It's a self-guided tour. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. All hail the prince and princess of Canada! Hail! Yeah! The audio tour is narrated by Brian Adams. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the great border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Have you picked up your photos from the gift shop yet? Would you like another picture with the prince and princess? You should speak with the prince. I'm here for looks, mostly. Back already? Wow, you are fast. Wait, you haven't spoken with the Earl of Winnipeg? Get out of here! The princess creeped twice when she met you. That is a great honor. Hold it right there! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Oh, I would have picked the five by sevens.
Oui, oui, oui. C'est l'être mauvais. Allô? À secours! Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's work. and Q's. But with all these diet heads, you want with your T's and M's, however. You know what Winnipeg is known for? Uh, neither do we. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? You know what Winnipeg is known for? This uh, poor citizen win. was killed by a dire bear. They you know say that two Canadian like, monks live on a secluded like a island in the middle of Vancouver. Dire. This poor citizen was killed by Sorry, a dire bear. Sorry, you know what a dire bear is, right? You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what. Kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can! You're gonna regret this! Better than that! By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these dire bear pelts! Now I can finally make a dire row! Alright, give me that document! Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian! The Minister of Montreal can translate it! But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec! I will speak with the Prince! Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister! Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada! There you are! I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal! I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom! Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the Bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me, and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste!
Have you been to Newfoundland? You won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my waz? Banff Canadians are quite religious. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! than that. Remember the golden rule! Yes! Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. A noble decision, Commander. I knew I was right to trust you. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! Every time a princess crafts, another angel is born. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. <coughs> What's it like in the kingdoms to the south? Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour, or the candelabras, depending on what you're into.
Many wonderful films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized by serial killers. Hockey is quickly becoming the world's 11th most popular sport. Welcome to Vancouver, the San Diego of Canada. People come from far and wide to buy our 2010 Winter Olympics merchandise. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? They say that the Duke earned his title by winning yes, a log roll yes, with the I last know. Duke. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? Uh-huh. Yes, I see. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Yes, come on. Yes, I hate that guy, too. Uh-huh. No, I haven't seen that show as a kid. from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> oh, now you know. Who are you? <laughs> that is some sick magic He knows there. dragon shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he farted into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. Oh my god, okay. he can cup a spell! If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your face? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes, prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! on a man's balls. You must never use this fart for evil or on balls. Many wonderful films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized...
press. Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh! N'avez-vous besoin de quelque chose, Stradut? Ok! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! Bishop, I will mourn him for a long time to come. You should speak with the prince. I'm here for looks mostly. Had enough of Canada, eh? Can't say I blame you. I'm following you here. I hope you weren't following me. I think we should go that way. Inside your rotten breath. Wow.
What can I do for you, new kid? Oh, I hate spiders. Sure hope you blasted the heck out of it. I can't wait to see what you kill next. <laughs> you seem like a pretty nice kid. You will never get laid looking like that, kid. Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See? Right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi! Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! We should be friends so you can like my posts! You're really different from the other boys. Like, you aren't even gross. You're totally hot. The girls will be ready to help you whenever you need us. Thank you so much for clearing my name. Now when girls call me a whore, it's more in a joking way. Heidi's having a slumber party. Oops. I almost forgot you're not a girl.
I bet you're thinking about something totally deep right now. I learned that betrayal can actually make your friendship stronger, and it's all thanks to you. As an honorary girl, you've been granted full access to our adorable supplies. Wanna do a little shopping? My friend has a crush on you. Let us all make haste to Clytus! <laughs> 